Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business on this morning's edition of Don't Sleep on the Dallas Cowboys. Because you literally cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because things happen late in the evening, late at night, first thing in the morning. So you want to be up to speed with all that is America's team. And it's Tuesday morning. We're dealing with the aftermath of the Washington Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow. I keep telling you, NFL, not for long. Things change rapidly. A few weeks ago, the Washington Redskins were almost two games up in the division. The Philadelphia Eagles had the Super Bowl hangover and looked like they were ready to be left for dead. The Dallas Cowboys, oh, what can go wrong will go wrong, as Stephen A. Smith says. But last night, what may be the final nail in the Redskins' coffin, now they still have a chance. They still have a chance to make the playoffs. But now, after losing Alex Smith, Colt McCoy, Broke his leg, and he is a warrior. He actually played two plays on a broken leg. It just hurts just thinking about that. And then they had butt fumble. And it seemed like the Redskins had some hope because he handed off to AP. And AP went 90 yards. I think AP may have earned himself a job for next year with the Redskins. But then you have the world champion, Philadelphia Eagles. Hmm. They got the win. They're back in the hunt. If the season were to end today, right now, here's our picture. Oh, let me change the aspect here. Um, we get it zoomed. There we go. Um, still working, doing the stuff here. Let's bring the camera up a little bit closer. Don't worry about the AFC. The NFC right now, the Rams have uh, seed number one. The Saints, seed number two right now. Um, and of course, they have a play. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Of course, the Rams have a playoff spot locked up and their division locked up. Um, and then, of course, we have wild card round. We got the Vikings as the uh, sixth seed, and we have the Bears as the third seed. Of course, we have Seattle as the fifth seed, and we're the fourth seed. In the hunt, because when you start looking at things, um, things can change. The Vikings are a half a game ahead of the Panthers, the Eagles, the Redskins. Um, yes, the Buccaneers are technically still alive, and the Packers and the Falcons, but... I don't think so. And then you have to look at the Bears, who at the beginning of the season with Khalil Mack looked like world beaters. That defense was 85 bearish. But lately, not so much. Especially when you know that the New York, New York State and Giants dropped 30 points on them and they lost. And the Bears, well... They've got a bit of a tough schedule ahead of them, and they have to play the Vikings. So one of these teams is going to knock the other one out or down. So it could be conceivable that the Vikings could win the division if they go on a run and the Bears tank completely, or it could be that the Bears end up knocking the Vikings out, in which case that opens up room for the Panthers, the Eagles, and the Redskins. Um, the problem for the, Re for the Eagles is, they got a tough schedule. In fact, they have the worst schedule in the NFL. And they lost Jason Peters last night. They're all world tackle. Jason Peters is one of those guys that, like Tyron Smith, when they're healthy, best in the business. Game changer. When they're hurt, you know they're not there. You have, like, Atlanta Falcons-type games where you take Claiborne and make him a pro bowler just about in one game. So that's a major blow to the Eagles. Now, the Eagles seem like they found a little bit of footing, but 
<clears throat> I got bits and pieces of the game last night. But did it seem like to me that Carson Wentz was missing a lot of open guys and they left a lot of stuff on the field? Is that just me? I know we won't hear it from the talking heads out there that Carson Wentz looked like a regular quarterback instead of, you know, the next coming of Joe Montana. Am I wrong on that, or am I just hating? Our Cowboys, well, we can handle business against the Eagles this week. We can give them the knockout blow. We can pretty much get close to making sure that we got a playoff spot if we win this weekend. But understand, we got four games. We got the Eagles at home. Then we got the Colts, a team that is fighting for a playoff spot too right now and has won quite a few games. Uh, I think they lost, of course, this past weekend, but they won like four games straight. So don't sleep on the Colts. And Andrew Luck seems to be back to being Andrew Luck. And then we got Tampa Bay. And now we've got a New York stinking Giants team that is playing with a little bit of confidence right now. It's feeling better about themselves. So <clears throat> nothing is easy and nothing is undoable. So we began hate week with, <laughs> I can't believe that I'll be in Dallas Saturday morning. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, to meet a lot of you guys. We're going to be doing some different stuff down in Dallas, so if you're interested, um, check out Cowboys Experience, because basically where Cowboys Experience is, we'll be there. We're going to end up um, being at Lava Cantina um, by 2 o'clock uh, for an autograph signing with Drew Pearson, with uh, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, um, maybe Michael Gallup, or um, Jeff Heath. Got Law coming. We got Vosh coming. Uh, West Coast, you know, big James, big game James. Haven't met those guys before, but we're gonna be there. And then we're gonna be doing a live stream from the Embassy Suites, um, six to seven thirty. And I tell you what, with a game this big, I can guarantee you that I'm gonna be live streaming later um, as well because I probably just won't sleep. So check out, go to their Facebook page, like it. And um, definitely, this is their Facebook page, definitely check out their Facebook page, like it and all that. And uh, if you go to the Lava Cantina, here's what's cool. Um, the normal admission price is $25 for the event. But if you say Joe Boo Sports Report or Media Row, you get $5 off. Okay, I'm trying to get the hookup for you guys. $5 off, and they will also give you a free... Emmett Smith book, just like this one that I'm sitting right here. Ooh. As well as they're going to have a Jalen Smith autographed mini helmet like this one. That's going to be a drawing for it. So you get entered in that. So it's going to be a great experience. Um, love to have you guys as, as part of the studio audience asking us questions on some YouTube videos and things. Because for me, doing this is always about the fans. That's my passion. That's my love. Another love, another passion that I have is Hayden, Philadelphia, and the Eagles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and stir, stir the pot up because I know some of you Eagle trolls are now feeling yourself a little bit after you got a win last night. A few of you guys showed up. Not as many as we used to have before because you guys are cockroach bandwagon fans. That's right, I said it. You're cockroaches. Because when you guys, when it was finally safe and you were in the playoffs, the Cowboys weren't there, that's when you guys started coming out the woodwork. Talking smack, telling me I'm an idiot, telling me how great your team was. And oh my God, when you won the Super Bowl. I remember when I said it's hard to repeat in the NFC. When I made my predictions for the season, I said, I think the Cowboys will go 11-5. and five. I said, I think the Eagles will take a step back. And I said, I think they'll go 9-7. and seven. I said, the Redskins, well, they're the Redskins. I said, I think about 8-8. Eight and eight. And I said, the Giants, even though everybody said they got Barkley, and that three-time Super Bowl MVP, Eli Manning, they're going to be better. I said, they'll be better, but they're still going to be in the basement. Hmm. 
what I got from those cockroach eagle fans is, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. You're not an expert. You're not like Adam Schefter or Ian Rappaport. Those guys, you're a guy in your basement. You're a loser. Eagles for life. We're going to rule the NFC East for the next 10 years. We got the best quarterback situation in the NFL. Carson Wentz, Nick Foles. Yeah. Those guys don't come around too much anymore. But there's a few. There's a couple out there that are diehard fans. You know, Philly, 500, that's my boy. I can't wait to talk to him this week because let's get this party started. Because I got to tell you, I hate Philadelphia. Especially that nasty ass cheesesteak sandwich that y'all keep bragging on. Cheesesteak. Supposed to be steak and cheese, man. You're supposed to have more meat than damn cheese. And at least use some real cheese instead of some damn cheese whiz. Put some spicy pepper jack on that thing. Or put some Swiss cheese and mushrooms. And how about some vegetables, man? Some lettuce, some tomatoes, some fresh sliced jalapeno peppers. Let's do this stuff right, man. And oh my God, I know I'm going to get hate when I say this again. But that damn Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. You know, the Liberty Bell cracked because they had bad metal. Not because of Cannonball. Not because it was dropped in battle because they were trying to save it from the town burning down or something like that. It cracked because of poor workmanship. They tried to fix it, and it cracked again. That damn plane crash in the middle of downtown. There's that plane that crashed. And the place is so dirty, they just decided not to clean the damn thing up. Ah, oh, it's a plane crash. That's okay. Nobody will notice with all the other trash that's laying around. And the Eagle fans that immediately see that you're a Cowboy fan and just start cussing you out for no good reason at all. When I see an Eagle fan, I don't immediately give them the finger. What happened to the brotherly love that you're noticed about? There is no brotherly love in Philadelphia. You guys are just mean. Straight up mean. And the Rocky worship. Oh my God. He was a movie character. Rocky wasn't real. So yeah, I hate Philadelphia. And I hate those Eagles. And I hope my Cowboys knock you guys into the offseason. It's hate week. And the hate is on. I'm Mark Holmes, and it's going to be a busy week leading up to this game. And I got to tell you, I've circled my calendar, and I am ready to rock and roll on this one. It's going to be a good week. I'm Mark Holmes. Hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to check out Cowboys Experience and join me on Saturday uh, between 2 and 4, Lava Cantina. And remember, tell them Media Row or Joe Boo Sports Report. You get a $5 discount, and you get all the goodies. I'll see you guys later.